Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from home. Today, we're going to hop in the car and drive over to Cocoa Beach, which is the closest beach to the Central Florida theme parks like Walt Disney World and Universal Studios Orlando. It's just about uh, a little under an hour away from that general area. It is also located on the Space Coast. So you have the Kennedy Space Center not too far away. You also have Port Canaveral if you're taking a cruise. It's in that direction. We're just going to have a fun family day out at the beach. Enjoy the sun, enjoy the sand, enjoy the water. And then we would like to find like a, a spot on the beach to have a lunch. And it's been some time since we've last been to the beach. And that's one thing that I really love about living here in Orlando that you can drive about 45 minutes to 50 minutes away and you're at the beach. It's fantastic. Let's hop in the car and have a fun day. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. Good morning, my loves. There's Dory. <laughs> She's so cute. She's very shy and very high maintenance. I also added a six line wrasse and two cardinal fish. Everyone is doing very well. There's Violet back there. There's my cleaner shrimp. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update before we head out. Yesterday while we were at Target, we found this awesome beach play set for five bucks. Look how adorable this is for Adri. It's like ice cream and then there's a bucket for sand and a little shovel or spoon right there. Okay, we are officially on the road. We are passing by the Orlando International Airport and from here, we are only 44 minutes away from the beach. About to pass a Disney Cruise Line bus and boy oh boy, do we wish we were on that bus right now. <laughs> and just like that, we have arrived here to Jetty Park right next to Port Canaveral. We can see the beautiful massive carnival Mardi Gras parked right in front of us. Parking here for the day was $15, and we can stay here all the way to 9 o'clock p.m., and then at 4 p.m., we should start to see some cruise ships pass us here next to the pier. I did end up moving my car over just a little bit because I found a parking spot right next to the beach right here. Right next to the parking lot, you can find restrooms and a changing area, and here's a quick look at the beach rules. Oh, nice. They have showers. That way you can rinse off. My goodness, there's the beach. It is a beautiful day outside today. This looks awesome. Oh, look at the kite up there. Just a quick tip, never swim alone because rip currents are a thing out here. When you are on a cruise ship leaving out of Port Canaveral, you literally pass this area right here as you're going out to the ocean. This is nuts. I've never been here to Jetty Park and I'm so happy that we decided to come out here today. I like this because you have lifeguards on duty here. Looks like low tide is at 3 p.m., high tide at 9 a.m. They do have beach rentals here. You can rent surfboards, bodyboards, umbrellas, chairs, and there's the phone number if you are interested. Looks like you just pick it up right over here. I just found out 20 bucks for the day will get you two chairs an umbrella for the entire day. It's pretty windy outside, but I have set up shop right here, very close to the beachfront. It is a Saturday. It's not too busy. I mean, there's a good amount of people here, but not bad at all. There's plenty of room for activities. I am loving every minute out here on the beach today. This was long overdue. Look at all of this seaweed that has washed up ashore here. It's everywhere. What are you doing, mommy? That is so cool. I'm glad we found this yesterday at Target. And then once you fill it up, you can put this top on and you have ice cream. <laughs> the water feels great. It's not too cold. It's just right. Oh, this is so dang nice i see so many cruise ships off in the distance i know it's hard for you to see and then there's so many boats out i really want to buy a boat 
It has been a dream of mine for a long time. It's crazy because every time we get out of the water, we just see the Mardi Gras docked right there, not too far away from us. Well, I was about to fly my drone here to get some beautiful shots of the beach, but uh, <laughs> I forgot to charge my battery. Oh well. Dang. Next time. I do have some very fun adventures coming up. That way I can fly my drone. So stay tuned for that. Let me tell you guys, eating goldfish on the beach, it just hits different. This is such a great beach day snack. Would anybody like a scoop of fresh sand and a fresh waffle cone? Looks tasty. <laughs> This kit also came with a little stand for our ice cream cones. That's so clever and neat. We are all rinsing off now, about to head back to the car for our next part of today's adventure. You guys hear that? I think that's the Mardi Gras about to leave. But I wanted to mention before we leave Jetty Park because we're going to go try to find like a shack somewhere off the beach and then somewhere to get some ice cream before we get back on the road and start driving back to Orlando. If you're visiting Orlando and you don't have your own form of transportation, but you wanna still visit a beach here in Florida while you're here on vacation, if you wanted to take an Uber from, let's just say Disney's Pop Century Resort, I just looked, it's $92 to get back to Pop Century from Jetty Park. Now that price will vary depending on what time of the day it is and how busy it is, but that should give you a pretty good idea to how much it would be if you wanted to come here to Cocoa Beach and Jetty Park from like a Disney resort. It doesn't look like the Mardi Gras is leaving just yet, but I wanted to show you, they do have a playground here for the little ones. They have a few grills, a few picnic tables, and it's just first come first available. Oh, there's the Victory Casino coming back to port. You can find plenty of benches along this walkway here. That way you can sit down and just watch the cruise ships pass you as they come back to port or go out to sea. It does look like that anybody can come here to the pier only and you can fish without a fishing license. That's nice to know. And the pier goes pretty far out. It goes all the way back in that direction. And then on this side, you have the beach where we just were. And then, yeah, you just find a spot and you can watch the cruise ships pass you. I really wish a Disney cruise ship was passing by right now. That way we could hear those magical horns. But it is still cool seeing the Mardi Gras docked. And then you have a few World Caribbean ships back in that direction. And then I think a Norwegian ship is also docked today. I thought this building was the Welcome Center, but it says this building is not open to the public. It is under construction. Also, if you have an RV, you can park your RV here because they have a campground. Bianca found the place that we are going to go have lunch called Rusty Seafood and Oyster Bar. It has good reviews and it's only six minutes away. I think that was very reasonable. 15 bucks for the entire day. You get private beach access, you get restrooms, changing rooms, and a lifeguard on duty. Not too bad at all. There's Terminal 3 and check out this view. I got a little closer to the Carnival Mardi Gras. This is a massive cruise vessel. My goodness, I can hear the music that's being played all the way down here 
And what's really cool about this cruise ship, it is the first cruise ship to have a roller coaster on board. We can see it right there. Maybe one day we'll get on a carnival ship in the future. All right, we have made it here to Rusty's and it's right next to the cruise port. Like there's another carnival ship. There's a few World Caribbean ships. We have about a 20 minute wait. So I came out to the back patio while the girls are sitting in the car until our table is ready because it's a little humid and hot outside. But look at this. The carnival magic is passing by right now. This is so awesome. Look at all of the people that are just sitting here watching the cruise ship pass. A lot of people are fishing as well. But they have like live music out here. They have an outside bar. Yeah, this is crazy. There it goes. Oh, look at everybody waving. <laughs> Hello. Have a great vacation. Have fun, everybody. Oh, the magic is packed. There's a lot of people on that ship. We waited maybe close to 10 minutes, but we just made it to our table. Here's a quick look at their menu. We have some appetizers. They have gator bites, bacon wrapped sea scallops. Okay. Soups and salads. Then up here you have your main entrees, fresh fish. Shrimp dinner, jumbo sea scallops, surf and sirloin, pasta, steamed snow crab legs, lobster tail, heck yeah. Here's a look at their desserts and this key lime pie is calling my name. You guys know I love key lime pie. Here's their sides and then here's the kids menu. Yeah, this is a nice menu. They have some local beers as well. For my drink, other than my water right over there, I went ahead and ordered the Rusty's Rum Runner because our server said this is the best cocktail that they offer here. This is light rum, dark rum, banana liqueur, blackberry, pineapple, and orange juice, and grenadine. This drink tastes like a vacation. It tastes like I'm sitting on Perfect Day at Coco Cay our Castaway Key, this is delicious. Very strong too. For our appetizers, AG requested onion rings and then myself and Bianca, we got the buffalo shrimp. Our entrees have arrived. AG got the cheeseburger and french fries. And then what is this? Like graham crackers or something like that? And then I got the blackened mahi mahi with french fries and coleslaw. And then I got some mango salsa on the side here. And then Bianca got the Mahi Mahi tacos with rice and beans. This looks delicious. Let's dig in. My Mahi Mahi was excellent. I really did not care for the french fries, but I did enjoy Bianca's rice and beans and then Bianca's Mahi tacos were good. This was fantastic. Our server just told us that Adri's plate, which is from the kids menu, it's a frisbee. Look at that. It is now time for the main event of the evening. We are sharing the brownie a la mode. Well, that's mainly for Adri, <laughs> but we're gonna have a few bites. And then we got the famous key lime pie from Rusty's. Oh yeah. They have a bunch of space stuff out on display here by the main entrance. Apollo 15, look at that. Yeah, this was a fantastic spot here on the Space Coast. All right, we just made it home. It was such a great beach day, wasn't it? I really enjoyed it, babe. I love Jetty Park. I used to go there growing up with mm. my family and fish and look at the cruise ships pass by. It was really nice. We need to go back and fish because yes. you don't need a fishing license to fish off the pier. I know, how cool is that? Yeah, <laughs> it was a great, great time. It was last minute. We were thinking about making a weekend trip to like Anna Marie Island or even Treasure Island but all of the nice hotels were booked up, so. Yeah, for that, maybe book in advance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, speaking of booking in advance, don't just roll up to Jetty Park like we did. Oh yeah, definitely check online. Yeah. And usually they have dates. Mm -hmm. Like today, I chose today's date and they had availability. Sometimes they go past capacity and then you're yeah. not guaranteed entry. So just look online. All of my fish know we just got home as well and it's dinner time. I love how active they are. They have already spotted me. Oh, come on, Mama Clown. Don't be like that. They know that I'm here and they see the black cup. They know it is dinner time. Let's feed them. They're just messing around. They're boyfriend, girlfriend. You know how that goes. Look at Dory. I love my little Dory. There's Violet. 
I don't know a name for my six line RAS. And then I have my two Cardinals. I did have a long tentacle anemone. I had my anemone for just about three weeks, but the other morning it was moving and it got sucked up in the filter. It was very tragic and unfortunate and my anemone did not make it. I'm still very sad about it. There's my sand shifting starfish and my pulsing zinnias. Everybody is following me because they are hungry. Oh, this hobby is so much dang fun. You hungry, Violet? <laughs> they know it's time. Time to eat. There you guys are. <laughs> They're so adorable. They all look so incredibly happy. And for the third time, we have rearranged our living room, and we really like this setup. There's the sectional right in the middle. There's our TV. We have our front door right there. I used to have the fish tank right here, but then I decided to move it over to this corner, which we love because we'll be sitting down watching TV or a movie, and we can look over and have the entertainment from our fish tank to look at as well. Okay, I came back upstairs inside of my office, and I want to give you a small, quick sneak peek of my office. It's not 100% done just yet. I'm still waiting for a few things. I would say it's like 75% done. I got the wall painted, I got some decorations up, I got my furniture in. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with like the office desk and such, but let me show you real quick. Here it is, check it out. This is where we have been filming. There's my furniture. I am still waiting for my area rug to come in that I'm going to be putting right here. And then over here, I'm still waiting for my dry bar, so I will have a mini refrigerator with an ice machine that way I can just get a cup get an ice cube and pour myself a neat drink to enjoy and then here's my current bourbon collection it is slowly coming together I am very proud of my collection so far and then up here I have my filming equipment with my dark saber I did go ahead and mount my TV which was a great decision I'm happy that I decided to do that I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with this office desk. I don't know if I should just keep it and rearrange things and add an office chair or if I should just take out the office desk completely and just go with more of the bourbon lounge feel. But then again, this is going to be my office. I'm going to be doing my work up here. So I think I may keep it. It just really depends on how it looks once I get everything in here and all together. 
But let me know what you guys think about this office desk. Should I keep it or take it out? Really quick, if you were interested on how to purchase tickets to Jetty Park, there's the website and the phone number. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and end the video here. It was such an incredible fun beach day out at Jetty Park near Cocoa Beach on the Space Coast. We really enjoyed this fun afternoon as a family and I really want to start going to the beach a lot more. Like I mentioned earlier, we do plan on going to Anna Marie Island and Treasure Island, Siesta Key, and the Florida Keys eventually, so stay tuned for those videos. We just love the beach and sometimes living in Orlando and going to all of the Orlando theme parks and activities around town, you forget that you live pretty close to some nearby beaches and if you want to go to the beach, it's like an hour away and then you have the other option to drive even further and go to the nicer beaches. Now, I will say, personally, I like the beaches on the west coast, on the golf side. I don't really care for the beaches on the east side, on the Atlantic side. I just feel like the beaches on the west side, they're much nicer and cleaner. White sands and clearer water compared to the Atlantic side, but at the end of the day, they're all beaches, they're all going to be nice. Now, not going to lie here, seeing those few cruise ships today did make me a little sad because I miss cruising so much. I need a cruise. Everybody in this household wants to go on a cruise. We do have one coming up very, very soon. It's going to be very exciting. I just can't wait. I've been counting down the days and then we just booked another family cruise for later this year that we get to experience once again as a family so we do have some cruises coming up but today i just wanted to hop on one just for the weekend <laughs> and then we got to enjoy our late lunch at rusty's the food was great the service was great really enjoyed the atmosphere it was so cool getting to see the few cruise ships pass us and then getting very close to the carnival mardi gras that is just a massive ship i hope to sell on that ship eventually if we do decide to do a carnival cruise which we have talked about and then we came home i got to show you the fish tank got to show you some updates in the office in the living room yeah it was a great saturday great weekend thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help up the channel in so many different ways i love you guys so much please remember it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out.